Hey guys, Julia here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. And today I am inking up new pens and showing you what I have inked for January, maybe even into February. And I just realized that it's been a very long time since I did a currently inked on the channel. The last video that was a currently inked one was back in September. And since then I've started a brand new ink journal and I've been documenting all the inks that I have. And I just did an offline currently inked for November, kind of mid November. And these are the seven pens that I had inked up then. And I think only one of these are inked up now. And that's the Pilot Vanishing Point with Sailor Zade Kokoro. I do have a video kind of showing off this ink journal and I'll link that for you up above if you're curious about how I have this set up. It is a Hobonichi A6 Day Free planner and I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do for these currently inked spreads. I did like how this one turned out so I'll probably be doing the same thing this month but I do have space here to write in any comments on the ink pairing and I thought that that would be super helpful going forward. So let's flip over to a new currently inked spread and see what we have going on. Okay the first one is probably one that I won't mention in any other currently ink videos because I've decided that this is going to be a permanent pairing because you always kind of need a black in the collection and this is the Sailor Zare Gakoro ink and I have it inked up in my Pilot Vanishing Point in matte black and this has a fine nib. And this is easily one of my favorite fountain pens. It's just amazing and the nib writes super smooth and it's reliable and it's you know one of those quick draws. So let's get that in here. I do like this ink because it is black but it has a little bit of fun sheening and it's not you know super boring as far as the properties. But I'm sure it's super hard to see that on camera. You'll just have to trust me. Pilot vanishing point. Did I spell it wrong? Okay, the next pen that I have inked up is my Twisby Diamond 580 Mini in white and rose gold. And I recently got this one secondhand and apparently it had not been inked, but only one time. And I was hunting down this pen for a little bit, kind of looking for a good deal because I thought it would be perfect in my little wallet to go planner. And this is an extra fine nib and it fits perfectly in my little wallet planner. And I've been really loving it so much so that I've taken it out of my wallet and I've been using it here and there around the house as well. So I have this inked up with Diamine Writer's Blood. And I had two samples of writer's blood, one from a friend and one from Goulet pens. And it is a very dark burgundy color and it reads neutral enough, which is kind of my thing. I like dark inks that don't draw too much attention if I want to use them in meetings or in notes that other people will maybe need to look at. Swatch this out. And it does look like blood. Between Diamine Writer's Blood and Diamine Ox Blood, I love them both. Like I can pick a favorite. They're just gorgeous dark reds that aren't alarming. And ooh, ooh, I do love on this pen too that you can post it. It has threads on the back, unlike other 
Twisby pins. So it becomes almost full size, maybe comparable to like a Sailor Pro Gear Slim or something whenever you thread it on the back like that. So this is a Twisby. I usually just write Twisby Diamond Mini. Extra fine. Which I always think Twisby nibs are like one off to what I expect. So even though this is an extra fine, to me it writes more like a fine. And the ink is Diamine. Writer's Blood. Keeping it dark and sexy so far. Okay, next up is one of the first kind of higher end fountain pens that I got almost a year ago. And this is the Esther Brooke Jr. in Fantasia. And I never really see this anywhere. I'm not sure why, but I just think it's so pretty. It's such a like true blue and the little shimmer all over is just really magical. I love it. And I think this one originally had a medium nib, but I got it ground at the Colorado Pen Show by Kirk Spear of Pen Realm. And I got it ground to his Imperial nib, which I need to probably go back and look at what exactly that means. But to me, it's sort of a softer stub, like it still has those stub properties when I'm writing, but I don't know, something is a little not as severe with this, but I will link information on the Imperial nib below if you're curious at all about it. So that is the pen and I have it inked up with a new ink that I just got for Christmas. And it's the first cohort of Birmingham pen company inks that I have and this is Ice Rink and this is a stunner of a blue ink and the sheen in it is really amazing and beautiful and so I just thought it was like the perfect match for this Esterbrook pen. So let's swatch it out first. Again, keeping it dark and sexy at first. And you can post this. It just looks a little weird to me. So typically I don't post it. So this is the Esther Brook Junior. I'm just gonna do I. I know I for me means Imperial Nib. And it is by Birmingham Pen Company Ice Rink. So you can see the downstrokes are a little thicker than the cross strokes. Okay, the next pen and ink combo that we're going to look at is one with the Twisby Eco and Cream and Rose Gold. This just came out not too long ago and I snatched it up with the quickness from Atlas Stationers. And I have a Twisby in every nib size that they offer except for fine at the time. And so I got this in a fine to kind of round out the nib experience with the Twisbees. And this is such a pretty combination. Look at that nib. Look at the cream. Uh, it's so cozy. And so for this one, it took me a while to figure out what exactly I wanted to ink this up with. Even though the cream is pretty neutral and can go with a lot of different colors, but going through the ink vent calendar this year, I decided to ink this pen up with Diamine Walnut, which is a gorgeous dark brown that has some sheen to it, some black sheen, oddly enough. But I just thought it was, again, neutral enough, but still had some personality and just went really well with this cream Twisby. 
So let's swatch this one out. Okay, so this is the Twisby. Go. And green and rose gold. And a fine nib. Ink is diamine walnut. Gorgeous. You can see the little bit of shading or sheen rather the sheen from black. I always get shading and sheen mixed up. I know what they are, but sometimes it just seems like sheen should be shading and shading should be sheen. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. The next one I can't do a full on swatch for because it is a cartridge only type of pen for me. And I got this secondhand on eBay and it is a little beat up, but it is technically a vintage sailor. And so this is a pocket pen. It does have the 21 karat gold nib and I wanted to try a vintage sailor out. I got to try a similar pen at the Colorado Pen Show. I was hanging out with some of the Colorado Pen Posse and was able to try a sailor pocket pen. And I just thought it was super cool. And I found this one on eBay for, I think, 35, 40 bucks. And I just think that it's super cute. It reminds me of the Pilot E95S, but I just thought it was an inexpensive way to try a 21 karat gold nib, which I haven't tried other than this one. This is my only 21 karat gold nib. But the pen itself is so short that even the mini Sailor cartridges or converters, the modern ones don't really work in here. They don't fit. The normal Sailor converters don't fit. And so I ended up doing some research and just getting some Sailor cartridges. And my thought is that I can refill the cartridges with any color once these are empty. And so this color is, oh my God, um, Rikucha, re Rikucha. It's a dark green color. So because of that, I can't do my really big swatch here, but I will do something similar. Again, another dark color because this one is kind of alternate on the go pen with this Twisby Diamond Mini. And so I wanted to make sure I had something that can be used in a lot of different scenarios. Okay, this is the Sailor 21 in a medium nib. I forgot to mention that. This is a Sailor ink. It looks very black right now, but I promise you it is a very dark green. Yuka, which I'm sure I am butchering that, but we are trying. And it does write really smooth, really beautifully, but it does, you know, it does have some scratches and things on it. It's not in the absolute best shape, but I think for what it is and what I paid for it, it is pretty great. Okay, and the next pen we are looking at is a brand new pen for me, the Banu Confetti Milkshake. And I got this for Christmas. And it is a Goulet Pens exclusive, so you can only get it on their website. They have a whole series of drink Banu Euphorias, which I have loved all of them. I have the Ice Caramel Latte Banu Euphoria, and I have my eye on the Earl Grey Tea one as well. But this is the Confetti Milkshake, and it's so milky and pretty. And this is in a fine nib look at that and so i have this inked up with a sample that i got from a friend and it is the dominant industry sunset 
and it's a pastel -y purple with lots of shimmer. So we're lightening up really quickly here, going from this super dark palette to a really light pastel -y one. And these next few colors are mostly to match my January planner slash bullet journal theme. Okay, next up is a pen that I got at the Colorado Pen Show from Bone Crusher 7 Studios. This is a Storm Winds blank. I think the blank is called Ghost Wind, but I have dubbed this my wedding dress pen because that is what it reminds me of. It's my wedding dress, so I've been calling it my wedding dress pen. And I got this one in a medium as well but I got this ground by Kirk Spear of Pen Realm into a cursive, a smooth cursive italic. So that's been super fun to write with. This was my first cursive smooth italic nib. And yeah, it's been lovely. I just love this. And then it like, depending on the light, you get some purples, some greens, some grays. But I have this inked up with Frosted, Orchard, which is a sample that I have. It is from Goulet Pens, but I got this sample in an Atlas Stationers Secret Santa ink swap, and I just thought this was so pretty. It's a different grapey purple with some light purple, like lavender shimmer in it, but I just thought it matched this pen really well. This one was to mostly match up with my planner theme for this month. Yeah, it's a little more grapey, a little more mauve -y even than this other light purple sunset color. So it does give me some variation there on the same hue. And look, you can see a little of that. Oh no. Okay, I may have lost you there for a little bit because my camera is having a hard time today. But you might can see how pretty that shimmer and the sheen is in this ink. Like it's gray, lavender, purpley, matches super well with the pen, I think. Okay, and the last one, of course, I don't have that much room. I need to figure out something better for this. The last one is in my Esterbrook SD and Ferris Wool Press collaboration. I cannot even remember what the name of this pen is right now. Pretty sure it is called the Nebulous Plume. Yes, the Nebulous Plume. And this is just a gorgeous SD. I had some issues with getting this pen and even the second time that I got it, this little piece was spinning and I didn't know that it wasn't supposed to spin until I went to my local. I realized I have a local pen guy, Joel Hamilton, and he hooked it up for me, tuned it really nicely and got on the phone with Estabrook and was asking questions about this pen and fixed it up for me. So I had to use it this month because I was super excited about it being freshly tuned and fixed up. And it's just gorgeous like it's a gorgeous pen and I do love an SD all of the SDs that I have I have four of them now just are lovely writers and comfortable and I am inking this up with my favorite ink from this year's inkvent calendar and that is velvet emerald which is shocking that this is my favorite because it's just standard ink. There's no shimmer. There's nothing like super extraordinary about this ink, but the color is just so pretty and just so up my alley that I remember opening this up and being like, I am in love. And so it's a really good match for this pen, which you can pretty much match any color with this because it just has so many different colors in it. But let's swatch this one out. I don't know how I'm going to do this because I don't have a lot of space, but I might just, you know, F it. I'm just going to flip over and do it on this side because I might ink up more pens. The idea of doing an A6 for ink journal in theory was that I can just throw it in my bag, but it may not be working out the best for currently ink purposes. Ugh. 
Look at it. So pretty. Somewhere between emerald and teal is velvet emerald. And that's where I want to be. <laughs> So this is the Esterbrook SD Nebulous Plume. And this is in an extra fine, but it is now writing very smooth, especially for an extra fine. And the ink is Diamine Velvet Emerald. It's just gorgeous and I am super excited to write with this pair this month. Yeah, here it is. That's probably where I pick that color up the most. Oh, even there. So yeah, these are the eight pens that I am using in January. And I don't know how long this is going to take me. I probably won't show this pairing anymore or the Sailor 21 just because those are going to be the same and they're more for a functional purpose. But I really do enjoy the inks and pens that I have going on this month. I know I said it a few times, but other than matching with my planner set up for this month, I also wanted the pens to look very celebratory, like New Year, glitter, fun, optimistic. And so that's kind of what I was thinking. Yes, I know I said the last time I was doing these currently inks that I was only going to try to ink up three pens every month, but like, I just don't think that is feasible right now with all the great pens and great inks. So this is where we are and I'm just having fun. I'm just a girl out here having fun with her pens. Let me know what you think, which pairing is your favorite. Let me know if you have any of these pens or any of these inks and I will catch you all in the next one.